to the Bassless V3 Pro. Got the 4K dongle for it, but it's not included here. It's got the, the Razer Optical Gen 3s, which we didn't, well, I didn't like in the Death Adder. Um, they felt slightly better in the Viper V3 but, or V2 Pro, is it? 3K sensor, hyper scroll tilt wheel. Pretty standard, it's pretty much the same 4K. I expect it to be exactly the same apart from the shape as the other Viper and Death Adder base. Let's see why not. QR charging, QI charging, sorry. This is natural weight, I don't know what the weights might be natural weight in the wild. USB C. I mean, nothing like anything different to what we normally expect from Razor at the minute. Just different shapes. Didn't say the weight. Interesting. 10 programmable buttons. Super free spinning scroll. Will they put an infinity scroll in this now? Shame the stickiness leaves a crappy uh, residue on the box. Oh, this, yeah, this one was, this is an expensive bus list. This was like 100 and, maybe 169 UK, I think, plus the dongle. One, the one with the 4K dongle was something ridiculous, like 207 UK pounds or something. And that was a discounted dongle. I'll tell you what, it feels heavy. I feel like Razor's unboxing experience is not as good as it used to be. Like, like, like where's my stickers? Oh, take it back. We even get a Chrome or RGB sticker now. Ooh. Like a Razor customized their things to be green. Would have been nice to have that the same darker green, but um, looks like it's got a speed flex cable. Not bad. It was a little bit thick, but. Like the flex, maybe slightly thicker than a flex, maybe because of the 4K, I don't know. This thing feels heavy, man. I think we get the stock power puck on this one, out of the box. That's why it feels heavy. It feels... Is it Twister? Okay. It's got like another... Is that protective? I'd say it's just puck, I think that might be the power plug. Looking at these pins. Which it doesn't have. So that's just a blanking plate, which is a bit thick. And just next screws in. So the, the mains feel better than they did in the um, Death Adder. Death Adder's felt really mushy, I don't know why. Split front skates, uh, again. Quite a narrow rear. Kind of not symmetrical, but okay. That's what it sounds like. Comparison here's the Pulsar X2. There's a Viper, uh, sorry, Super Light. I think that's not too bad. Feels like a standard bus list. I can't really, nothing really different about it. Does this thing ping off? Nope. Usual badass pre travel in the mains. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it feels like it feels like a normal basilisk. I always found the scroll wheel feels a bit cheap now on the, the razors compared to the Logitech, they definitely feel better. Yeah, it's got a little bit of rubber. It's a little bit. Not too bad. I think this one is like. This side's quite hard. It's definitely got a little bit of push in it if you it's not rock hard like some of them we've tried recently. You can definitely tell here and do this. I'm just not a fan of this scroll wheel on this basilisk, I don't know why. I don't normally mind the Viper scroll wheels and stuff, but this one I just don't really get it. I don't know, rattle, I don't think. Let's try a little bit, a little bit wrong. You can see the overall shape's not bad on this, I don't find. It's got quite a narrow thumb position. My thumb will definitely fit in it. How thick is your thumb? Yeah. 
Not bad. Same skates. Got some def razor definitely better skates than Logitech. Got the Bluetooth and 2.4 wireless switch. Quite good as Bluetooth, I guess. It's decent for people. Weird puck. And then uh, see the QI charging ports for the power play pad. Normally the push, so twisted on that one. Fair enough. Got your little sniper button. It's quite nice to press, to be fair. Can't blank it off there like you can on the new 502X. Some decent size side buttons. Do the uh, DPI buttons feel a bit horrible, to be fair? How much does it weigh? It's got to be. What oh, my days? What I be? I'll be surprised if it's not over 90. It feels it's in the 90s. Holy shit, it's even heavier than I thought. 114. What the fuck? I don't know. I think Razor's missed a spot on this one. Like compared to that, I think the 502X is better. As long as you fix the pre travel, and that 502X has got some monstrous pre travel, but you fix that, I'd say it's probably a better mouse. Already. Just be safe, but. I don't get why it's so heavy. I don't get why these mice have to be so heavy, these ones. That just makes no sense to me. People want a lighter version of this 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 shape. Um, and both Logitech, I think, and Razer are missing the point. There's the balance. Is it middle? Yeah, ish, about there. Cheers. Send it with the. Send it with the sensor. This feels like a brick. But in fairness to it, it's pretty big. Big buttons. If you've got sausage fingers, you're going to be good. And we're around 22 mils. And if that, it's got a big score wheel as well, like 8 mil, maybe about 7. Is the sensor going to be center? It looks like it's slightly rear, I reckon. A bit difficult to measure sometimes, but yeah, it's definitely further back slightly. Just. I'm not quite centered with using the thumb. I don't know, I think the 502X is a much better one at the minute. 